What is up, citizens of Bazinga Nation? It is SPS Fen here. Oh shit, Sherlock. Today, I will be doing something that I've never done on my channel before, and that is cooking. So today, I'm going to attempt to try to make some sort of chicken parmesan. I've never tried it before. I've never really cooked in my life, honestly. As you can see here, we got linguine. That's the type of pasta I'm using. Then we got a chicken patty that we're gonna use. And then mozzarella cheese, we're gonna put that on top of there. And then we got the marinara sauce and the salt and the measuring cup right there. And then of course we'll need this to drain out the pasta. All right, first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna put water in this pot. So we're gonna lay that in there and we're gonna use this. So it's at four to six quarts. Uh, how many pints are in a quart? I forget, I gotta look that up. <laughs> United States. Bruh. All right, so as you can see here, it fills up to a half pint and we need four to six quarts, which means we're going to fill this cup up 10 times. Okay, it's obviously not big enough of a pan. Well, you know what, actually, there's about half of this used, but we're still gonna put it in a bigger pan. I think I'm gonna put one more half pint of it in there. All right, so we're good on filling up the water. We're gonna put that to the side. And next thing, we are going to take a lighter. We're gonna take a lighter and we're gonna light the- Oh my Lord! Right, we're gonna put that on higher, I guess. And we're going to put this over it. We're going to put this oven on 400. But we don't preheat, alright? I just put it up right when I start heating it. So, yeah. I just estimate how much time it takes after that. And you can see it in there with the oven light. Alright, you can see it's 506. So, I'd say we can take it out at probably like 520 or something a little after that. And hold on just a second. I forgot something. This dang mozzarella treat. What did you say? This dang mozzarella treat. This dang mozzarella cheese right here, man. We gotta put that on the chicken. Gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there. All right, there we go. We got our cheese on the chicken. We'll probably have it in there some more time just because the cheese. So maybe like 525. In this point of time, we really don't do that much. We just wait for this to boil. And we just let this sit in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. So as you can see here, we're finally getting some boiling. So in about one to two minutes, we'll probably start putting the pasta in there. As for the chicken, it's probably gonna be another 12 minutes. So I'm gonna end up timing this pretty well. First thing, we're gonna add some salt in there. I don't know if that's fine or not, but hopefully it is. Honestly, does it really matter that much? I mean, we could, all, we could always put more salt after it's done. Okay, we're gonna put a little pasta in here. Dang, this is hard. Shoot! That was hard to do when it was like, <laughs> that was hard to do when I was looking at the camera. I've never cooked pasta in my life, so <laughs> not even mac and cheese. Got the pasta down there completely below. And yeah, we're gonna wait until about 5.28 just about the time that we're gonna take out this as well. We're probably gonna take this out first and then we're gonna take out this in about two minutes worth of time. All right, so while I wait, some of you wanted a house tour. Well, there's really not much to see here. This is my mom's house. Uh, I have, my mom has a house, my dad has a house. Uh, so yeah, this is our driveway out here. We got these nice Christmas lights going around here. Wreaths, uh, neighbors brother's nice car right there mercedes e350 we got our basketball goal right there cats shadow that's his name and then the other one is actually in the house with my mom uh, that's my garage i can't go in there right now because i don't have any shoes on right, so this is my backyard here again another neighbor and a nice tree and then there's the road out there entry room we got washer dryer my clothes you didn't need to see that 
All right, we're gonna walk in here. Oh wait, I was already in here. This is the kitchen. And there's my sexy pasta right there. And my chicken. I could have chose such a better word, I'm sorry. Dining room, got these candles here as you saw in the thumbnail. Uh, it's pretty clean in here for the most part. That's my bro's room. There I am. Let me fix my hair real quick. Okay, and we got sink, shower, bath here, toilet. Oh, and also, uh, changing the toilet paper doesn't cause brain damage. I promise you guys that. Uh, this is where I hang out a lot of the time. This is the living room. Got our little Christmas tree here. There would be normally a TV here, but uh, there isn't. And then more lights, decorations, nativity set right there. We turn on the light here. Uh, this is a very messy room. Uh, it's usually not this bad, but yeah, this is my room. That's my bed, uh, my TV that I play, my PS4 on, that drawing that I haven't erased in about five years, and then my mom's room is in there. And yeah, that's about it for house tour. There really isn't that much to see, but I still like this house a lot. If this video hits 10 likes, I will do a house tour at my dad's as well. All right, well, it's almost done here. Honestly, I think I probably should have went spaghetti instead of linguine. That's probably more proper for a chicken parmesan. It's 527, so we're gonna put this tripod out of the way. You're gonna grab one of these uh, oven mitts. I'm gonna put it on. Dang it! Uh, I think I put this on the wrong hand, but I don't care. Uh, and I'm not sure what to think about that. <laughs> oh man, that is not good. There was not enough cheese on that. And as y'all probably saw, I had a bunch of cheese around it. <laughs> it's completely black. My goodness, dude. So I'm probably gonna have to put some extra cheese on it, I guess. But it's, it's a shame that we only have that much cheese. Eh. All right, so I'm going to drain out the pasta in this. My gosh, dude, these handles are hot. All right, here we go. Yeah. Come on, we got another pasta thing in there. One stuck in there. <laughs> All right, last thing we're gonna do is with the marinara sauce that I've been saving right there. Uh, we're gonna pour some of this in here. Three, two, one. All right, there we go. We got our sauce and we need to put a little layer over this cup so then it doesn't go exploding all over the microwave. All right, you can see it's in there. I'm not sure how long to put it in there, but I'd say 45 seconds, I don't know. I didn't really have any other thing to put over it, so I just completely wrapped it in paper. I just completely wrapped it in paper. Let's unwrap this. As you can see, I changed the cup. Uh, my mom just happened to come out and say it might not be the right thing to do putting it in this. I switched it to a mug. Now I have all this pasta just for later because I'm probably gonna get hungry later. It's only 5.39, I didn't have to say later twice. All right, well, here we go. We're going to put it in a bowl first. Take this pasta out. Oh yeah, it's still hot, let's go. Like the top was getting cold, but I digged out the middle and it was it's still hot, so we're good. It is still sticking a little bit, but for the most part, it's fine. Put a little uh, marinara sauce on it. Then we put this chicken slice on top, and then I'm gonna add one more thing. Gonna add a little more cheese. Oh God, why did, why did so much come off the side? All right, well, here is our final product. We got our bottle of water on the side. I'm gonna set it up on here real quick. All right, here we go. We're gonna fix this a little bit. I'm gonna take a slice of this chicken, get some of the pasta in there as well. And it's time for the taste test. I will rate this one through 10. <laughs> Thank you.
Dude, this is awesome. Holy crap. Let's go, man. I rate that 8.5 out of 10. All right. This is a great dish right here. Me, myself, I love chicken parmesan. Uh, I'm glad that it worked out well. This was the first time I ever attempted at making it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this for sure. Also, I might be a little biased because I haven't ate since like 10 in the morning, so that might be part of it, but <laughs> I think it's actually good. Honestly, if I wasn't hungry, I'd probably rate this like still an eight out of 10. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If this video hits 15 likes, I will do another cooking video by the end of the year. The standards of me cooking my own meal, this was delicious. As you can see, I annihilated it. And I drank this whole thing as well. Hope you guys have a good night. Good morning. Whenever I post this video, I'll see y'all later.